Hello, overthinkers. In this video, I show you the two emotion systems that overthinkers and overachievers tend to use too much of and how to use the one that we tend to ignore in a way that could be super helpful to us. Hi, I'm Kira, a registered psychotherapist who helps women who are overthinkers and overachievers manage their anxiety so they can do more of what matters to them. Which emotion systems do we use too much of? We have two systems that activate us and two that slow the body down. The threat system, or more commonly known as the fight or flight system, is activated when there is a threat in the environment. Normally a stimulus that makes us want to um, stand and fight or flee to safety. In overthinkers and overachievers, the threat is actually self-criticism or thoughts about social rejection. Your body responds with an increase in heart rate, in breathing rate, your pupils dilate, and your digestion slows down. You feel anxious, irritated, fearful, and maybe even angry. The second system that activates us is the reward system. It's activated when there's something pleasurable that we want, like food. In overthinkers and overachievers, that tends to be achievement or social acceptance that are the pleasures that we pursue. Overthinkers and overachievers tend to spend time in this emotional system to compensate for not feeling good enough. The threat and reward systems are the emotional systems that alert and arouse the body. That's where overthinkers and overachievers spend a lot of time exhausting their body and causing inflammation. But wait, there's one more system that you may recognize spending a lot of time in. The shutdown system or the freeze system or overwhelm system is activated when we feel like we can't flee or fight the threat. Overthinkers and overachievers may be in this system when they've experienced chronic criticism from others or catastrophic failures. We may feel numb, disinterested, detached, dissociated, or shame. We're in a state of chronic activation, but completely ineffective. The emotion system that slows and quiets the body, that moves us into rest and digest, is chronically underactivated in overthinkers and overachievers. And the good news is it's actually easier to tap into than we might think. It's called the social safety system, and it's activated when we feel safe, loved, um, protected, or part of a tribe. It makes us want to socialize, relax, explore, or just chill out. You can see why it's also called the tend and befriend system. As an overthinker and overachiever, how do we activate this system? Number one, Tend. Overthinkers and overachievers tend to not value time spent in tending or taking care of the self. They are rushing to be productive, sitting in their anxious thoughts, or seeking the next form of praise. I've got three great blog posts on how overthinkers and overachievers can do little things to start taking care of themselves. And don't worry, it's not the usual, take a warm bath and have a glass of wine, things that aren't entirely helpful and you know you're not gonna do anyway. They discuss levels of taking care of yourself from the often forgotten physical needs all the way to showing yourself some compassion. I'll put the links below. Number two, befriend. Overthinkers and overachievers tend to avoid interactions with people because we're fearful that we might be criticized, we may not keep somebody happy, or we may be rejected. Or we may approach people in order to be productive, to seek reassurance or positive feedback and praise. What if you spend time in current healthy relationships? Number one, approaching friends with the intention to relax, socialize, or take in the love and positive regard from that person. And number two, to savor and linger on the feelings of belonging, relaxation, being loved, really taking it in. At first, it'll be a conscious action that feels effortful. Over time, with regular practice, you'll find it easier to slide into this restful emotional system. I have another video where I talk about managing negative feeling emotions that can help you manage the anxious feelings that arise from overthinking. Think about your past week and then let me know in the comments 
how much time you spent in each of these emotional systems. Thanks for listening.